Hey guys, three key factors when it comes to sleep. One, timing, two, intensity, and three is duration. So duration is an easy one, that's just the amount of time you sleep. Typically people fall in that seven to nine hour range. If you're kept catching up on some sleep debt, like you've had a baby or just had you know a long period of, of rough sleep, then you might need something more than that, but typically we fall in that seven to nine range. Intensity is basically the quality. So are you waking up you know, a bunch of times every night to use the bathroom? Are you waking up with a busy brain or just restless and you can't get to sleep? That's uh, what refers to with the intensity. So we want that intensity high, obviously. You wanna have deep sleep. You wanna wake up feel, feeling rested and, um, and getting that quality in. Third one is timing. So you wanna make the timing of bed and you know waking up in the morning fairly consistent across the board so if you're you typically during the week go to bed at 11 you wake up at 7 and you have that consistently that's awesome we we kind of run into trouble when you start pushing maybe the one o'clock range and then you don't get up till nine sort of thing that timing matters so that when when we're off our regular circadian rhythm or sleep schedule we're not going to get the same quality of sleep so that timing is going to affect the duration or sorry the timing is going to affect the the intensity so the duration is the same but the the quality the intensity is different because our timing is a little messed up so what you want to do is do your best to be in bed at the same time every night and wake up roughly at the same time every day and i know that's tough at the weekends but um even if it's friday saturday you don't nail those times as tightly, do your best to, to get them dialed in Sunday through Thursday. And then intensity wise, you want to just set yourself up so a cool dark, cool dark room. Um, you know, don't do anything overly stimulating before bed. Avoid, you know, laptops, computers, um, phones that give off that blue light that kind of tell, tell our bodies that it's daylight, be alert, be up. And then, um, you know, duration, obviously hitting your number. You're gonna know how many hours of sleep you need in order to feel good. You're gonna fall in that seven to nine hour range typically and uh, aim for that. So if you have any questions, post them below. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.